Realtors, today we are breaking down Google's most important Gemini AI changes for realtors and how to put them to work in your business. So I'm gonna be clear about what is actually new, what's an update, and why this matters for your pipeline, your marketing, and your client experience. So here's exactly why you should lean in. Search is shifting from clicks to answers. Buyers and sellers are seeing conversational summaries at the top of Google. Gemini is now inside the tools you already use every day. Maps and Live are turning Zoom consultations into guided neighborhood tours. Deep research can build market reports in minutes. Google Ads got new controls and placements that impact your lead quality right now. And agent mode has been announced, which means parts of the buyer discovery and scheduling will be automated when it lands. The agents who treat this like busy work will fade, and the agents who treat this like leverage will win. So let's start where the stakes are the highest. AI overviews at the top of Google search. You've all seen the AI overviews at the top of the results. So this isn't brand new, but it's an ongoing expansion that keeps getting smarter and showing up on more queries. So a client types something like best neighborhoods in Westminster under 600,000 with short commutes. And instead of a page of links, they now get a neat answer written by Gemini with sources underneath. So the old game was to rank number one. And now the new game is to be the source the AI cites inside that answer. This is what we call AEO or Answers Engine Optimization. And if your brand is in that box, you exist. If not, you vanish even if your site still ranks on the page. So take a breath guys, cause this is solvable. What you wanna do is treat your Google business profile like a living feed and not just a static business card. So you're gonna post open houses, price improvements, local notes, and short market updates in the what's new section. Those entries are a clean signal that the model can surface when it answers. Clean up your website as well so that way machines can read it. You're gonna add structured data to your pages so bedrooms, bathrooms, price, schools, HOA info, and neighborhood attributes are explicit instead of buried in pretty copy. Then commit to content the model wants to cite. That means hyper-local, specific, and current. One deep neighborhood guide each month with your own photos and analysis. One quarterly zip code market breakdown with clear takeaways. Title them the way a human would search. So you'll see the compound effect when you do this. Even when clicks drop, you can still build awareness inside the answer that matters most. So here's a real world example. A buyer searches townhomes in Arvada near parks under 600K. If your site labels townhome and park access and structured data, and you have a current neighborhood guide with original photos and a clean map, you're gonna give Gemini everything it needs to trust and cite you. So you're no longer begging for a click, you're building a mindshare at the top of the funnel. All right, now let's shift to productivity. Gemini is inside Google Workspace. This has already existed, but what's new is power and practicality. We now have stronger drafting, summarization, and media workflows across Gmail, Docs, Sheets, and Drive, and Google Vids. So in Gmail, you can summarize a long thread and draft a reply that references the contract or the HOA sheet you attached. In Docs, you can proof your writing and listen to it read back to you so you can hear mistakes before the client does. And then in Sheets, you can clean a list, validate emails and URLs, and cluster leads by source and stage so you know where to put time. And in Google Vids, you can open raw phone video straight from the drive. Cut it, add captions, add a few on-screen labels, and export a vertical walkthrough for shorts and reels without juggling three different apps. So here's a workflow you can run right after a showing block. You're gonna drop your clips into Drive, open the best one inside of Google Vids, trim the dead air, add three simple labels on screen like new quartz counters, big backyard, and close to trails. Paste your call to action at the end, export a vertical version and a horizontal version. And while that exports, you can open docs and tell Gemini to turn your notes into a listing description and a social caption tailored to first time home buyers or downsizers. Then you can jump into Gmail and have Gemini draft your follow-up email to the client referencing those same highlights and laying out the next steps. So you just shipped video, copy and client communication in one pass. So no more bouncing between tools all afternoon. All right, now let's go deep on research because this is where most agents burn their evenings. Deep research is an upgrade. It plans the work, crawls the sources, and compiles a multi-page report. So you still verify the numbers, but you no longer babysit 15 tabs to get there. Before a listing appointment, ask for a market analysis for one zip code for the last quarter. So you can tell Gemini to include pricing trends, days on market, competing brokerages, active new developments, and any school rating changes. 
and you ask it to cite the sources so it will deliver a draft report. You then plug in your MLS verified comps and commentary. Now you can walk into that appointment with the professional packet and you didn't lose a night to copy and paste. And if you handle relocations, use deep research to build a relocation brief, neighborhood overviews, commute profiles, school snapshots, restaurant clusters, recent development news, then you add the human piece. What this means for the family's goals and the trade-offs. This is where trust is built. The machine gathers the what, and then you deliver the why and the what next. All right, let's switch to maps and live. Now this part is new and it's a crowd pleaser for remote clients. Gemini Live ties into Google Maps, so a Zoom consultation can become a guided tour that feels local. On a call, say, show me 123 Maple Street, highlight the nearest parks and the walking route to the elementary school, then ask for coffee shops, grocery options, and a 10 minute drive radius to the hospital. Because the model is grounded by maps, the answers are location true instead of a generic list. You can even answer lifestyle questions like family friendly restaurants with outdoor seating within walking distance and get a useful set right there on the call. People do not remember stats. They remember how a place feels. So this will turn a consultation into a day in the life experience in real time. The camera overlay is also new and it's good for listing prep. Ask your seller to walk through the house on video. As they move, you can literally circle a scuff on the wall, point at a cluttered counter and mark a box stack in the hallway. Give it a quick punch list live. It saves you a trip and it also builds confidence because the seller sees what you mean instead of reading a big text about the declutter of the kitchen. And then when photo day lands, you're not surprised by something that could have been fixed with a five minute call. All right, quick pit stop for a mid roll reality check. If you wanna stay sharp on this stuff and you wanna be around people who are actually implementing it every single week, not just talking theory, well, that's what we do inside the Wolf Pack. We share the exact systems, prompts, ad structures, and workflows so you're not reinventing the wheel all alone. And if you wanna explore partnering with me and the team so you get all my AI and CRM training as part of the deal, reach out and we can have a real conversation about your goals. All right, back to it. Storybooks and Imogen are also in play for marketing assets. So this is new this year. Storybooks can turn a simple prompt into a short illustrated book. So use it to make a welcome to the neighborhood piece for new buyers or a first time home buyer journey guide that feels personable and giftable. Imogen inside Gemini can generate or tweak lifestyle visuals when you need clean filler images for social around your real listing photos. You're not replacing the true listing photography, you're just keeping your cadence high without waiting on a photo shoot every single time. All right guys, now the one everybody keeps asking about, Google's new agent mode. And status is gonna matter here. Now this has been announced, but it's not widely available as of now. The idea is delegation. So you set a goal like find a pet friendly three bedroom in Broomfield under 750 with an October move. The system will filter listings daily, compile comparisons and drops tour slots on your calendar. That will automate a chunk of early buyer discovery and scheduling. The smart move is to prepare before it lands. So buyer agents should lead even harder with negotiation strategy, finance timelines and neighborhood nuance that software can't handle. Listing agents should tighten their intake so data is machine readable on day one. If your price, features, school zones, HOA rules, and media are clean and structured, human assistance and AI assistance will both shortlist your property more often. Now let's talk ads because this is live and it impacts your budget. Google Ads and Performance Max got some real updates. We now have shared negative keyword lists at the campaign level, so you can block junk like rentals or investor foreclosure searches across campaigns from one place. Search themes doubled, which means you can be precise about neighborhoods, property styles, and buyer personas inside a single campaign. There's also a push often called AI Max for search that expands beyond exact keywords to match the buyer's intent. So if your ad promises a backyard under 500,000, it can still show it to a family searching for a dog-friendly starter home because the intent lines up. Setup is also faster too, so you can paste your website into ads and Gemini is gonna draft starter keywords, headlines, descriptions, and extensions. You still wanna edit it for accuracy and voice, but you're no longer staring at a blank page. And watch placement, Google is testing ads inside AI overviews and inside the conversational AI mode experience. 
So that means your offer can ride along with the AI's answer during research when the intent is heating up. So here's a practical campaign plan that you can run this quarter. Launch one fresh performance max for your farm. Create a shared negative list that blocks renters, apartments, and irrelevant terms across the account. Use the expanded search themes to call out the exact zip codes you farm, the property types you want, and the life situations you serve like downsizing, first time home buyer, or new build help. Build one landing page per intent so the message matches tight. The page for Arvada downsizers is not the page for Thornton starters with a yard. Let Gemini draft a starter set of headlines and descriptions. Then you can replace the generic lines with your tone and local language. Then watch the first 30 days closely. Kill what wastes spend and feed the winners with more variants and better creative. The model works best when you coach it with clear negatives and specific themes. Now, let's take a second and zoom out. These changes do not remove the need for agents, all right? But they remove our excuses. The model is getting good at collecting the what, and our value is the why and the what next. Why did days on market jump in one zip while price per square foot also rose? Why is this listing sitting and what are the two smart moves that will fix it? What's the story behind the comps that a spreadsheet just won't show? And that type of interpretation is where you, the agent, becomes indispensable. All right, so let's put this into a clean action plan so you're not overwhelmed. Phase one is gonna be your foundation. So you're gonna make your Google business profile active, make sure that you're posting weekly, clean up your website so every listing page and every guide has structured data that machines can parse. You're gonna replace generic blogs with one deep neighborhood guide each month and one quarterly market report with your own photos and clear takeaways. Title each piece like a real human search. That work feeds the AI overview box even when the clicks are down. And then phase two is all about productivity. Use Gemini to draft property descriptions and your weekly content calendar. Build a simple video pipeline with your phone. Google Drive and Google Vids. Build a simple video pipeline with your phone, Google Drive and Google Vids so every listing gets a short tour and every week your farm gets one short. Use Gemini Live with maps during buyer consult so that way relocation buyers can visualize their day around a property in real time. In Gmail and Docs, let Gemini summarize and draft, but you need to approve every client facing message and run an audio proof so you can catch errors before your client does. Then phase three is growth. Commit to one serious market report each quarter using deep research. Repurpose it into a YouTube breakdown, an Instagram carousel, and a client email. Launch or relaunch your performance max with a shared negative list and the expanded search themes. Iterate fast on creative and landing pages. And then finally, prepare for agent mode. Decide how your buyer presentation changes when the early search tasks are automated and tighten your listing intake so your data is clean, structured the day you sign. So two guardrails before we close. Verify anything that matters. AI can present mistakes confidently. We call these AI hallucinations. So always check your market stats, property details, and any legal language before you hit send. And be transparent about data use. Workspace has protections, but clients trust you because you act like a pro. So tell them what you store and why. Trust is the asset that's gonna make all of this work. All right, so here's my invite. If you wanna be around agents who are actually implementing this in the wild and you want the systems, the prompts, and the ads that we use every week, reach out and talk to me about partnering with us at The Wolfpack. This is not a coaching pitch. This is about plugging into an organization where you get all of my AI and CRM training and a whole bunch of other training as part of the partnership and we will build your business together. So the bottom line is Google did not replace agents, but it did remove a lot of busy work. Use these updates to move faster, communicate clearer, and deliver a smarter strategy. This is how you stay calm and effective while everybody else is scrambling. So guys, if this helped, please tap that like and subscribe, then share it with a realtor friend who needs a clear plan for Google's AI shift. I will keep showing you guys how to sell more homes, help more families, and run a smoother business with modern AI. I'll catch you guys on the next one.